NFL 2023 playoffs. Let's get right into it. We have the Chargers and the Jaguars. The Los Angeles Chargers had a great season going 10 and 7 with Justin Herbert absolutely shriving, definitely becoming a top five quarterback in the NFL. The Chargers were expected to be here as they were determined to be one of the best teams coming into this season. Even though they did not win the division, they still made the postseason for the first time since 2018. But the Jacksonville Jaguars, they started off the season two and seven, but quickly picked it up as they would end up winning seven out of their last eight games to punch their ticket into the postseason as Trevor Lawrence becoming one of the best QBs in the NFL and Doug Peterson maybe being coach of the year. The Jags have had a tremendous run and they are definitely going to be a team for the future and a very dangerous team for the future and potential Super Bowl run coming their way. As they got their future quarterback in hand, they will be definitely one of the contenders for next season and seasons beyond that. The only reason why the Chargers did not win their division is because they got Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, Andy Reid, the Kansas City Chiefs in their same division. If you take away those guys, they win that division. But anywho, we are going to get into my pick, and my pick for this game is the Los Angeles Chargers winning this game 23-17. to I think that the Chargers are just a better team. The Jags had a great run, but I don't see them winning this game. But it can go either way. I wouldn't be surprised if Trevor Lawrence pulls it out against the Chargers. But for now, I got the Chargers beating them 23-17. to As for the next matchup, we got the Miami Dolphins taking on the Buffalo Bills. And in this game, I don't expect it to be close, but we're going to run through these teams. As the Dolphins started off hot 3-0, and but then quickly fell to 3-3. But then Tua came back from his injury, and they jumped up to 8-3, and three, winning five straight games. But then, tragic struck. And they would lose five straight to fall to 8-8. Eight and eight. But winning their last game with the Patriots' loss, that bumped them into the postseason. But Tua Tagovailoa is going to be out for this game, and Skylar Thompson will be starting for the Buffalo Bills. And as for the Buffalo Bills, it has been nothing but glory all season as they have been one of the hottest teams in football all season long as the Buffalo Bills looking to do damage and go and win their first Super Bowl this season. Josh Allen is one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL top three by far. As Buffalo Bills into their season 13 and three, they are destined for greatness this postseason. And because with all that said, I think the Bills are gonna run away with this game with the final score being 34 to seven. As next game, we have the two most overrated teams in this entire bracket, the New York Football Giants going to Minnesota to take on the Minnesota Vikings. The New York Giants surprised a lot of people this season going 9-7-1 and, and making it into the playoffs as the sixth seed. People did not think that they were going to be all that great. Personally, myself, I thought they were going to win three, four games at best, but they surprised a lot of people with Saquon Barkley finally, for the first time since 2018, fully healthy for an entire season, and he has been a huge factor for them all season long. Daniel Jones has been mediocre, but getting the job done is all he needs to do in order order to succeed in New York as leading them to a nine win team and getting them into the postseason that all it matters for a quarterback is getting those wins and also Brian Dable major major props to him as he turned this organization around as they finally made the playoffs for the first time since 2016 as Brian Dable most likely will win coach of the year. And as for the Minnesota Vikings, they enter this game at a 13 and 4 record and having a pretty, pretty good season, but have a negative point differential with a minus three point differential, even though being a 13 win team, they've been squeaking out games left and right and always getting blown out whenever they lose, but they keep winning. They keep winning. They keep finding success and how to win, how to win those close games and that might be coming in handy in the playoffs. They have been great all season. Kirk Cousins being mid as always, but you know, he's Kirk Cousins. What do you expect? But he does make a Pro Bowl, another Pro Bowl to his resume. And then also Justin Jefferson having a career year. Once again, most likely him or Tyreek Hill to win Offensive Player of the Year. But with that said, I think that the New York Giants will beat the Minnesota Vikings 
this Sunday. I think they will pull off the upset with a final score of 23-20. to They played each other in the regular season beforehand, and the Vikings squeaked it out in a close game. But I think the Giants are going to get them this time. 23-20 to is my final score for this game. Next up, we have the Baltimore Ravens traveling to Cincinnati to take on the Cincinnati Bengals. As the Baltimore Ravens come into this game at 10 and 7, but they will not have Lamar Jackson for this game, which will probably be the reason why they would lose this game. But who knows? It is the playoffs. Anything can happen as Tyler Huntley will have the start as he is not that bad of a QB as people think, but he ain't no Lamar Jackson. I'll tell you that much. But the Ravens have looked good pretty much all season with Lamar Jackson. But ever since Lamar Jackson has went down, everything has gone downhill for the Ravens, but they still found a way into the postseason and into the dance, but they will be taking on one of the toughest teams in football a team that they just played last week with the same team they're going to play now just with tyler huntley and they lost to them pretty badly as they will be taking on the defending afc champions the cincinnati Bengals, coming in this game at 12 and 4 the three seed they have looked good all season long after ever since starting off 0 and 2 starting off very slow to the season they have won 12 out of the last 14 games coming off their Super Bowl loss. They are trying to avenge their Super Bowl loss this season, and I think they might be able to get it with this team. Joe Burrow has really come into his own, one of the best QBs in the entire NFL. Jamar Chase, definitely a top five receiver in the NFL in just a second season. They have been great all season. They have a dirty, dirty defense. They will freaking they will ball all day long. They play their hearts out all day long. Joe Mixon has been great all season long. The Bengals, they have just been great. And they are ready to make another Super Bowl push. But this time, trying to win it. And with all that said, I think the Ravens will lose this game. I think the Bengals will be too much for them, especially with Tyler Huntley in there. I think the Bengals will move on to the divisional round and take on the Buffalo Bills. And I think they will win this game pretty handily. Final score being 31 to 14, in my opinion. If Lamar Jackson would have played, I think it would have been a much closer game. But because he ain't, I'm going with Cincinnati to take this one. As next up, we have the Dallas Cowboys traveling to Tampa Bay to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Cowboys coming into this game at 12 and 5. They have looked good pretty much all season long, besides last week where they had the grueling loss to the Commanders 26 to 6. As some games they look good, beating like beating the Vikings 40 to 3. But then last week, getting crushed by the Commanders 26-6. Dak Prescott has thrown for 14 interceptions all season, leading the league in interceptions. But that defense has been dominating all season long. One of the best defenses in the entire NFL. Besides the 49ers defense, I think they have the best defense in the entire league. But now we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers coming into this game at 8-9. and nine. They have been disappointing all season long with one of the best rosters in the NFL they have just been a disappointment. Tom Brady, Leonard Fortnette, that entire defense, the entire players, they've just disappointed. But they have one of the most stacked rosters in the NFL, and they just cannot figure it out. Only going 8-9, and nine, where they were expected to really make a run for it, especially with Tom Brady coming out of retirement. They are only two years separation from them winning the Super Bowl, so we thought that they were going to be a great team this season, but they just really fell flat. But they still somehow made the playoffs because the NFC South is just a terrible, terrible division. They won that division at an 8-9 and nine record, a losing record. But they still have a shot because they got the GOAT Tom Brady at QB. Now, with all that said, I have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers beating the Dallas Cowboys of a final score of 19 to 17. I think they will squeak it out. Tom Brady is undefeated against the Dallas Cowboys. I don't think the Dallas Cowboys have what it takes to take down the go. I don't think they have what it takes to win a playoff game, honestly. But I could definitely see it happening with that Tampa Bay offense. That Tampa Bay team is just terrible. But for some reason, there's something in the air that Tampa Bay is going to win this game. Now, last but certainly not least, my favorite team, the Seattle Seahawks, taking on the San Francisco 49ers. As we start off with the Seattle Seahawks, the Seattle Seahawks come in at 9-8 and eight record, and they are the 7 seed just squeaking their way into the playoffs after a Lions beating the Green Bay Packers. As Geno Smith starting to come into his own as they got off to 6-3 and three before heading off to Germany to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But in that game, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers squeaked it out 21-16 to get them down to 6-4. and four. 
And then after the bye week, Seattle proceeded to go 1-5 in, in their next games to eventually fall to 7-8. and eight. But winning their last two games bumped them into the postseason as the 7th seed. Geno Smith all season long has been a consistent player. Being a backup for most of his career with replacing the star quarterback and Russell Wilson for the Seattle Seahawks. Seattle was determined to be in the top five pick of the year and they got that but not the way you thought they were going to get it as the denver broncos got russell wilson the denver broncos ended up getting the fifth pick which went to seattle which was one of the steals of the century if it doesn't turn out for the broncos in the future as geno smith is starting to come into his own and kenneth walker rookie kenneth walker who is the front runner for offensive rookie of the year has been dominating all season long and as for the defense the defense is young and up and coming as the rookies Tariq Woolen is the star of the team but also veteran Quandre Diggs has been great as well racking up four interceptions and making it to his third Pro Bowl as for the San Francisco 49ers they started off their season also a bit slow as they started off their season three and four but then after the Christian McCaffrey trade, they quickly picked it up, winning 10 games in a row with Christian McCaffrey, bringing them to a 13-4 and record. And you're probably thinking, hey, probably Trey Lance probably bringing them there. No, Trey Lance got injured in week two of the NFL season against the Seattle Seahawks, which brought in Jimmy Garoppolo for the fill. And Jimmy Garoppolo was succeeding pretty well, but he got injured as well as in comes Brock Purdy as Brock Purdy in his first start dominated Tom Brady in a 35 to 7 victory and then eventually led them to the playoffs at a 13 to 4 record for the two seed. The San Francisco 49ers offense has been amazing with Christian McCaffrey, George Kittle, Debo Samuel, and Brock Purdy and Brandon Ayuk at the helm for that offense. But their offense is not the focal point. Their defense is the best in the NFL according to ESPN by week 18 as they rank number one in yards allowed and points allowed per game. With all that said, here are my predictions. I see the Seattle Seahawks beating the San Francisco 49ers 16 to 13. And you're probably wondering why the hell would this kid pick Seattle over the Niners? Well, I think if any team can beat the San Francisco 49ers, it's their arch nemesis, the Seattle Seahawks. Kenneth Walker, 15 yards, gets Seattle a first down. Smith, looking for the end zone. I give up that you heard it. You say to your bottom line, I ain't heard it. And it be to your best man, I'm running. Who's in it, and it's this man. I'll be splitting, busting my pants. I took both off the track, I can't stand I got meals, I'm a bitch by the lamb I'm on purpose